Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'm here to represent the authors of this work um, to present their paper, Weekly Supervised Facial Attribute Manipulation via Deep Adversarial Network. So it's a joint work by Eileen Zuhao and uh, Guo Jun Xiliang and Bao Xin. So the success of facial attributes in various application less in representation power of these attributes in describing a uh, rich semantic variation of a person's look. A person might look uh, dramatically different by changing their facial attributes to have beard or non-beard. Another example would be uh, closed eyes when we taking pictures Photorealistic feature attribute manipulation can enable many real applications. And more importantly, it can also be helpful. Uh, we help facial Im image search and facial recognition by providing more processed facial image of different facial attributes. For instance, if we have several training examples for one person, when a test image comes in and it has total different feature attributes such as wearing a glass, the portrait model may be easily fooled. And more importantly, it can also help facial image. Uh, okay. Existing approaches have demonstrated that visual 3D objects have improved the performance of real uh, object detector. On the other hand, little research has been done for facial images. To address the empire data empire the data problem, we propose the following hybrid network. So our network consists two parts. The first part is a encoder decoder network for new facial okay, for new facial image generating. To keep the facial identity and the photorealistic quality, we propose to use content loss and adversary loss and also another paired attribute loss network to force the generated facial image has desired attribute. The idea of PARN is try to distinguish whether a given pair of facial image has same or different attribute, like the Siamese network. The pairwise attribute loss function of, of this network computes the, the distance between two input feature vectors. For instance, if we want to manipulate the attribute from no beard to beard, we need to feed this PARN with both positive and negative pairs, and then use the network to penalize the facial generator. And to, to study the quality of generated results, um, we employed both OSTER study and a quantitative evaluation. Especially, we use synthetic data to help train an existing facial attribute detector, and the significantly gain has been achieved. Thank you. Thank you.